All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And we're going to be rooting the Sony Xperia Z3. I just recorded the unboxing. I haven't even logged into my Google account on there. I haven't done anything to it yet except just do the unboxing. So, and I haven't even edited the video yet. The video is still on the SD card, and we just freaking grabbed the laptop, press the record button, and this is how we do it on the What Would Josh Do channel. So, uh, we have root. We're going to go ahead and click this Sony Xperia Z3 root thread. I will have a link to this in the description, so you're not going to have to, like, you know, be worried and try to figure out what to do and stuff. So, uh, you do need to copy Super SU, so we're going to go ahead and... Hook this USB cable up to the USB 2.0 port of our laptop here. And we're going to plug this into the phone. I don't mess around, man. I don't I don't have phones that aren't rooted. That's just how it works. Uh, my wife, she couldn't stand having the, the Zaz 5. And it didn't have root for a very long time until Tower Root came out. So it was kind of really hard. Couldn't back up stuff. Couldn't restore stuff with titanium. It was, it without root, Android devices aren't the same. It's just, the, just how it is. So, installing Xperia Z3. So, this should get us working fine. All right, after the driver's install, I do recommend unplugging it and then plugging it back in. I'm just closing out some apps here that I don't need running at the moment. All right, we'll plug it back in. And we're going to go here and we're going to go to Super SU. All right, so my internet magically started working. Let's go to the very first post of this thread here, and let's go Google Super SU. All right, click on the XDA thread, not the first link, the second link, the XDA thread, and from the XDA thread, you will find that that uh, one link I was trying to show you earlier, but wasn't working because my computer's a douche, or my Wi-Fi's being a douche at the moment. <laughs> so we'll, we'll launch that. We're going to download this. And then press OK. Save it to our downloads folder. All right, so that's downloading. We're going to go back to this thread here that we originally saw. So we have Super SU. We need to go ahead and send that to the phone. Let's go to our downloads folder here. And in there, we'll right click on it. We'll see if the option to send it to our phone is there. Send to Xperia Z3. Nice. OK, so that is sent to our phone. We're good to go there. We're going to need to download the right uh, boot image for our phone, which is going to install recovery. And then in recovery, we're going to install Super SU. And this is a relatively easy process. Now, for some reason, this isn't working for you. It's probably your drivers. And if I find the right drivers, I will link to them in the description. So we're going to go for the D6653, which is the one we have. Obviously, if you have the D6633, you'll download that one. So we'll click this one right here. And then you don't click this one. That's in that's a freaking all these are bad. So you'll want to download this one right here. And then save. And once it's done downloading, you're gonna to want to take this and put it in your platform tools folder. If you do not have your Android SDK set up properly, I will link to my video in the description on how to set up your Android SDK the way I have mine set up. Super simple, super easy. We'll go ahead and hit Control X to cut it. And we're gonna to go to our platform tools. And in here, we're going to go ahead and paste it. And we got boot Z3. So now we got that. And in here, we're going to right click or hold shift, right click and choose open command window here. Now we got that open. We're going to go back to this thread and see what all uh, is left to do. So we just need to flash the fast boot flash boot. So we'll copy this right here. I don't want parentheses, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it up in my URL bar up here and then recopy it. There we go. But we got to get into Fastboot first. So what we're going to do is unplug our phone. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. Hold volume up button and connect a USB cable. Okay, so volume up and then connect the USB cable. All right, volume, do this without letting go. Volume up, connect the USB cable, little blue LED. We got it. It's the first time doing this, by the way. I don't know if I let go. I just let go. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. All right, so it looks like it's installing more drivers. What we can do here is type fastboot devices. Okay, it's not seeing it at the moment. We can go ahead and unplug it and then plug it back in since the driver's just installed. 
And now we'll try fast boot devices. Okay, we did not do something right. It rebooted. Hold volume up button and connect the USB cable. Okay, the little blue ind indicator's on. So we're going to try that fast boot devices one more time. Okay, it's not showing the thing. So let's just try to flash the command anyway. So paste this. Fast boot flash boot and boot Z and then tab to auto complete it and enter waiting for device okay so we are needing if we go to if we go here to this pc we right click and choose manage this will tell us if we're having just issues with our drivers uh there'll be like a little question mark under device manager for the there is right there okay so we need to do uh find drivers for that i highly doubt this is going to work but we need to find drivers yes with that is our issue we are not finding the drivers so let's go ahead and this is a root video, man. Let's get this whole thing done right. Okay, so uh, Z3 driver. We're going to click on this and download this. I'll link to this in the description. All I did was Google it. So this is just troubleshooting. We're going to figure this out. All right, so it created a zip here. In that zip is a folder. We'll just drag that folder to our downloads folder. We'll open that zip up and we will... Okay, so we're going to have to do this manually. Sweet. Sweet. This PC, manage, and then when it pops up, go to device manager again. Go here, update driver software, browse my computer, click browse, go to your download folder right here. Go to Z3 and press OK. And then next. Okay, so we're gonna do it manually. This is this is even better. All right, let me pick from the devices, show all, uh, have disk, browse, uh, downloads. This is making it more complicated than it should be. Z3. Uh, so open that up. Sony ADB interface driver, next. Yes. It finished downloading. Okay, so now you want to unplug it, plug it back in, and it rebooted on me. So we're going to do this one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to root this thing. It's going to happen. All right, so once again, volume up, plug this in, and then see a little blue LED there. All right, we got that. Now we'll go back to fast boot right here. We'll do the right click, open command window here, and we'll do... Fast boot devices. There we go. There's our phone in fast boot. Now, now <laughs> we'll go ahead and paste that command again and we'll do boot Z3 tab. And it's going to autocomplete the rest of that and press enter. It said it failed. Command not allowed. Okay, so our bootloader is probably locked. Fast boot OEM unlock. Incorrect format for unlocked data should be the form of 0x. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so there's more to this than I thought. We're going to go to this link, which will be in the description. Uh, starting to unlock the bootloader, select your device. Xperia Z3. Let's find our Z3 in this list right here. Please note, it will only be possible to unlock the bootloader for certain releases. In your device, open the dialer... To access the service menu, tap configuration rooting status. If bootloader unlock allowed, say yes. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. Star pound, star pound, seven three, seven eight, four two three, pound, pound, pound. Okay, so mine's not saying, oh, there we go. Okay, let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. Now it says uh, service info, configuration. Okay, and right there we see bootloader unlock allowed. Yes. So sweet. Also tells you the working bands. That's cool. All right. So now we're going to go here to continue. We're going to go ahead and put in our email address. All right, we checked the little box. After we put our email, email address, we clicked the little, little box to get to the next page, and it said it sent us an email. So let's go to our email. All right, in our email, 
There is unlock bootloader instructions. Click here to proceed. All right. So, <laughs> man, this is way more work than I thought it was. All right. We got to enter in the IME ID. Oh, my goodness. All right. Once you put in your IME ID, uh, do not enter the slashes. It will not work. So we're going to go ahead and check. I acknowledge that I void my warranty. I acknowledge that Sony does not perform warranty repairs uh, or additional costs. So submit. All right, and then I have an unlock code. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that to our clipboard here. Copy. It says download the SDK, plug it in, hold the volume down. Okay, so we're gonna power it off one more time. We're almost done here. We should be almost done here. And then we're, I promise, this shouldn't be much longer to it. So power it off. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we had to type in more commands than uh, we originally thought. So we're gonna hold the volume up, plug it in, press the home or the power up button, the volume up button, and now it's in the, the mode that we need. And then we need to copy these commands right here. I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna bring up a notepad, and then I'm gonna go back and put in my unlock code, and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy all that. And now when I go to my platform tools, and I go to un open command window here, and I paste that, something didn't go right. Oh, I got to do a 0x next to it. Okay, so paste that and then go here and do 0x. Enter. All right, sweet. Okay, bootloader is unlocked. Very nice. So now we should be able to do the other one. Fast boot, flash boot, and then boot Z3 tab autofill. It, yes, it wrote it. Sweet, 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 sweet. We, are, we have bootloader unlocked. We have recovery installed. We are good to go. They just made the process a little more, uh, you know, difficult. So pressing volume up and down repetitively until booting and recovery. Oh, wait, we got to turn it on. They definitely made this more difficult than normal, than I'm normally used to with phones. All right, it vibrated, so I'm pressing both up and down. I don't know when I'm supposed to stop. I've never done this before. Okay, so I think I can stop now. I've never done this before, so this is kind of hard. Oh, sweet. I'm in team win. Now, since we unlocked after we did the files, I wonder if it's going to be there. So install. Our internal storage is wiped. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and install it. Why did it say zero, though? I don't know. Maybe it hasn't finished, uh, like, doing the reset. Okay, yeah, it's wiping the phone because we did the bootloader unlock. All right, so let's finish this up here. All right, so now it's going to boot up. It's going to be reset. So you are going to have to go ahead and connect it and transfer over that Super SU file. And we're done. I'll end this video because I know it's been hella long. So we'll connect that. And as soon as it boots up here, it should ask us to like log in and do all the things that you first do when you uh, get your device for the first time or you unlock the bootloader and it resets it. All right, install software. Yes, yes, here's the setup screen. I did not get to the screen on the unboxing because apparently the person set it up before I got it, which is stupid. Search for networks, connect to my network here. And then we'll just click done for now. Next, do you have a Google account? We'll go ahead and log in. We'll log in if I typed in the right password and information. All right. So back up and restore. Let apps search for Wi-Fi. Keep me updated. Next. All right, connect your accounts. We're going to go ahead next and we'll hit finish. And next, no, done. All right, here we go. We're at the home screen here. Now, I did try to do the Super SU installer, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this the right way. So we'll go to our downloads here. We'll go to Super SU, right click, send to, and then Z3. Now it's on our Z3. Go ahead and reboot this thing. Restart it. And we'll keep hitting 
volume up and down at the same time until we get to recovery. All right, it vibrated, so I'm thinking that means that you're done doing the little, you know, back and forth, which is correct. Okay, we're learning here. We're, this is a learning process of doing things wrong and then fixing them and doing them right. All right, so it shows you the information there. We're going to go to install. And look, see, now we have our data because it had to reset the phone. And then super SU. Done. Reboot system. Sweet. This sucker is rooted. This is rooted. Our, our bootloader is unlocked. Now if they come out with a custom ROM like CyanogenMod, CyanogenMod is an AOSP thing. You're going to see Android is upgrading because uh, when you went to recovery and installed SuperSU, it put super user in your system partition. So now when you open up your app drawer, you're going to see a new app. We're going to sort, sort by alphabetical. So new apps here, SuperSU. If you open it up and for any reason it says update your binary, say yes. Anytime you go to the Google Play Store and SuperSU has an update, please make sure you wait for the app to finish installing the update. Open it up. It'll say, please update your binary. Hit continue. And then when it says normal or twerp, uh, you can hit normal. Normal should work just fine. And then it'll say, take a minute to do its thing. And then it'll say reboot. Please reboot. And anytime the Play Store has an update for SuperSU, do that. And also, I recommend unchecking this. Because anytime an app has an update from the Play Store, it's going to lose its permission to gain root access. So it's going to ask for it every time you update the app. So uncheck that box right there. And you'll see that SuperSU is currently installed on the system. So, sorry the video was so long. I had to troubleshoot. And maybe, hopefully, this helps you out. Maybe you were having the same problems I was having, and now you know how to fix it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I've got many videos coming very soon. Nexus 6, Nexus 9, Nexus Player. We have all three of those pre-ordered. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date with me, see what videos are coming out before I upload them, and to stay in touch. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.